Ladies and gentlemen, Alola Collection is here, and it's English. Today, we will be opening up an Alola Collection English box, Moon. The moon one, not the sun one, it's the moon one. You guys like not night time, right? Uh, uh, starry skies? Why can my lens not go back further? I really want to sit all the way back fucking here and open this. My desk doesn't go that far back. If I sit it there, it's we're doing one of these. <laughs> hey boys, what's going on? <laughs> Today is a really cool day because we get to open up a moon box. Whoa, I can't, I can't wait. I've been waiting a long time for it to get a moon box and open it. Who could know what, who, what, who wants to know what's inside? Me, for one. Probably a lot of uh, moonlight. Hopefully some cheese, because the moon's made of cheese. Haven't you seen Wallace and Gromit, you fucking idiot? Alright. Let's get right into it. Oh. Mate. Look at those fucking colours, dude. Look at those colours. Oh, holy shit. We actually get a figure. And a pin. A pin and a figure. Compromise. There's Litton. There's Rowlet. And there is Poplio. Poplio is the one that I actually picked. There they are, guys. And I do not have the um, Sun and Moon booster boxes, the Japanese ones, just yet. They have been ordered. I was a little bit late to order them. They will be here within a week. Kaka! What the hell? Okay, so th what they've gone for on this is actually like a flexible little plastic figure. So he's pretty cool. I think um, I think I've, I've lost a piece already somehow because he's got a hole in his ass where you're probably supposed to stick the little rod so he can sit up right and here is the pin pretty cool pin as far as pins go if you're into pins i've got a fucking load of pins now against my will to collect them here is the code which should unlock this giant fucking box wonder who's actually going to get that a single code for a few sad kids trying to snipe it oh you know who you are don't act like you're cool oh here's the, here's the base there you go stick right up his ass dun, 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 dun. and here we have the awesome Lunala GX. It already looks a little bent. Oh, it just slides right out, does it? Look at the goddamn colors on the so on this beast. My God, look at that shine. That's like the BP oil spill. These are new cards. Uh, obviously, this is a jumbo card, so it doesn't actually do anything. It's just promotional novelty. But I believe uh, the GX moves knock out one of your opponent's basic Pokemon that isn't a Pokemon GX. You can't use more than one GX attack in a game. I was about to just say, you can only use one GX attack per game. So it's like one ultimate move that they've added into the game. So they've always had, they've had abilities, poker bodies, all, all that here, then they've had general attacks. And now with the addition of break cards, there's a bunch of kind of extra stack on stuff, which is kind of like the old level X's. And now they have the GX cards. So we're interested to see how these play out. But there you go, that is an insane shine on that holo. I cannot believe how cool that looks. However, guys, after that, we just go back to our old general cards. And the reason for that is, there's not actually any sun and moon cards out yet in English. The, the boxes just came out in Japan, in the Japanese sets, so they're making promotional boxes like this, and they're getting it under the way with promo cards and little early release stuff to sort of get the kids all hyped up while well, they set up to drop the um, boxes in English, which actually come out, not this year, they come out in 2017. Japan is always ahead on that. But we have a few little packs here to open. Uh, that's a Reverse Luxio, and we have a standard Hollow Pangora on the end there. Ooh, back to Evolutions, my arch nemesis, even though I just didn't know how the set worked. And I pulled, somehow pulled, two secrets from a single pack. God knows how I did that, and that is... That was recorded, and uploaded, and I didn't even know what the fuck I was doing. Nidoran, and I had to go look back on it, if you haven't seen it, I looked back on the footage, and I was like, oh, there's a reverse Dugong, and there is a rare Starmie non holo I looked back on the footage, and I was like, oh, apparently I got two secret rares in one pack. Obviously, they're super common in this set, in Evolutions, and I had no idea what the fuck I was looking out for. Um... But we do have a collection of different things here. They're all different cards. Yes, we have a break! Woo! Same break that I continuously keep on fucking pulling. But there it is, Lugia break. Nonetheless, bunch of nice shine on him. And at the end, we have a Barbarackle. Oh, it looks like he's ready to rob a convenience store. Or protect his home from intruders. It is Christmas, kids. Lock up your houses. 
Keep your presence safe. There's going to be a lot of robberies coming up around the corner. Late December. Up next, we've got a Steam Siege. I don't actually think I opened much Steam Siege when they came out, so I think I do have quite a few cards from this set that I can still pull. It's mostly fresh to me, boys. We've got a Steelix Spirit Link. Link up his soul to the trainer. We've got a Duot. Sort of strutting his stuff on the edge of the cliff, contemplating suicide, perhaps doing a dramatic runway turn. We'll never know. We've got a five-year-old throwing off Lucha. Mareep, extra fluffy. What the fuck? I've never seen any of these. These are awesome. There is the Steve Irwin Pokemon. There is a very, very startled Meowth. These look really great. I haven't seen any of these. Fletchling, that's awesome artwork. Primate, reverse, and finally we have a Toxicroak. That is fucking sick! Look at his claw! He's got poison ready to just... Kill! That shit's gonna pulse straight through the veins. Imagine that going right, at, right in your neck. Forget snakes, it's the fucking frogs you, you, you're supposed to look out for, all these toads! Toads with claws. And last of off, last of off, last of off, we have, last of all, we have a Evolutions. Very anticlimactic old cards, but not unless we get a Charizard or perhaps another secret. Slow bro, uh, oh, we've got Brock's Grit. Straight off. It is not the secret version. There is a secret version of Brock's Grit, but we haven't got it yet. Poliwag, Nidoran, Onyx, Growlithe. Machop, Magneton Reverse, and oh my god, yes, thank you, Jesus, Arceus, Pray, I'm so sorry, I'm such a shouting cunt, I'm so obnoxiously annoying, it, that is fucking awesome, I was not aware that was in the set, I'm not actually aware what's in the set, I know there was some reprints of EXs as I did get that Blastoise, but that is amazing, look at the colour, oh, that is... That's, I'm, I'm super stoked. I opened 16 Evolutions packs and I didn't get anything that looked that cool. Dragonite EX. What a card. Damn, dude. And you know what, guys? Just to finish it off, I think I will open up two extra Steam Sieges that I've got just on the side over here. I've got a little bag full of cards I've, I, I've got. Um, just to sort of give you guys... Oh my god, I see a shine already. Just to give you guys a little something else extra. And let's go to the front there. I'm already happy with what we've got here, knowing that I've got something really awesome at the back of this. There's Mankey Scale in the tower. Mantine, Sneasel, Hop Hip. There is a break. We have another break. Xerneas break. That's sick. And then we have an Avalog. He's scary, dude. He is scary. Woohoohoo! The luck has turned, boys. Already very, very, very happy with our pulls today, but we're opening up. One last booster pack for the road. And let's flip this around. We've got that fucking gay bird we already saw. Looks like it's got a tumor on its stomach, actually. Clang, Litwick, Dano. We've got Ponita, Meryl. Oh my god, that is the cutest Meryl. It looks like it's actually been squished. Like it was a fetus and someone squished its little deformed fucking head before it developed. There is another uh, Pokemon that looks like it's been drawn by a kid, possibly a competition, possibly just the style. Um, Aldo. I haven't seen a Maldo in ages. And he is a reverse. And then lastly, uh, Kabalion. Not hollow at all. Very nice. Fucking sick. Very. I'm very happy with that, with that opening, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This is my first Alola set. Even though it's a box that doesn't actually have much but three promos and a giant card. And of course, the little figure and the pin. Woo! Put him up there. I bid you a fair do. And I'll see you guys in the next episode where, you know what? I reckon we might open up the sun box. Just a little uh, foreshadow.